Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is really interesting, coming from Bounding Into Comics, that they are going to do a new Black Series figure from Hasbro. The fans are able to vote, and there's two really interesting things going on. One is, uh, one of the choices is Slave Leia, mm -hmm. who has How been missing. How problematic of them. Yeah, she's been missing for years. Uh, there hasn't been a slave Leia, and I don't remember the last time there well, was a slave Well, because there's two Leia. things wrong with that, because it's slave, yeah. and because it's, you know, she's in a bikini, and that's bad. Right, right. And the other is that there are uh, no choices from the sequel trilogy, the Disney sequel trilogy. Right. Well, they except for they have, well, yeah, not the trilogy, they have Rogue One. Right. But a lot of people liked Rogue One, except people got mad about Rogue One when that person, the author, put it in the book that Jen Erso did everything, even though she, her yeah. dad actually did, but you know. Yeah, there might be some blowback from that, but we're going to talk about this. This is, again, coming from Bounding in the Comics. It's Hasbro Pulse, which is kind of like their own internal crowdfunding. It's like the crowdfunding thing they do, yeah. Yeah, they did the uh, Jabba Sail Barge mm -hmm. before, and they've done, uh, for Transformers, they did the... Uh, Unicron is to scale. Yeah, which I would have bought you if you told me not to. He was like six hundred dollars. Yeah. He's awesome though. I saw I taught, saw test shots of him. I'm like, where would I put him? We'd need like a yeah, child. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Where to put him to? Child's chair just to sit Unicron <laughs> like a high chair. Put Unicron <laughs> in a high chair with uh, like a little like little kids like Optimus and Megatron. No, no one puts Unicron in the corner. Nobody puts Unicron in a corner. Anyway, let's let's get back to the uh, point. Bounding into comics, Hasbro announces Black Series fan vote with no Disney sequel characters. Slave Leia is one of the choices. I don't understand how they get away with calling it Black Series too. Ooh, I don't know. Well, uh, because this they is they don't have a problem with that. This is prestigious. This is the uh, the black boxed figure. So Hasbro explained it narrowed the choices down to the final ten through voting on a number of fan media sites. Okay. They detail that the winning figure will be added to the Star Wars Black Series archive collection line in 2021, and if applicable, will be updated using photo real technology. Well, well here's the question. So they did them on different fan sites. They offer choices that were uh, Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, or did they just, you know, here they were all I choices think they did. weren't? I think they did because they said what might be the most interesting about these choices is the fans overwhelmingly have rejected Disney sequel trilogy characters. Okay. None of those characters made it into the final 10 choices to become a part of the Black Series archive collection. Okay, I didn't even read that paragraph, but now it makes sense. And if I had read that, I could have saved myself a uh, minute or two of questions. Uh, in fact, only one Disney era character is actually featured, and that's Jin or so. Right. Again, a lot of people like Rogue One, even if they don't like the the mm -hmm. sequel. I trilogy. like Rogue One. I do. I like Rogue One. I like Rogue One. I actually like Solo better than the sequel trilogy, and I like the Mandalorian, but the uh, yeah. sequel trilogy is garbage. Um, there's an argument that Ahsoka Tano could be a Disney era character, given the design for her character seems to be from Rebels rather than Clone Wars. Eh. Yeah, but she yeah. was, she, you know, she was cemented in, in Clone Wars. So, you know, I, I, I get, I see the argument, but. Not only are there no Disney sequel trilogy characters, there's a Slave Leia figure, but they're calling her the Hut Slayer. Wait. Well, that's not untrue. Wait, wait, really? wait. Princess Leia, Hut Slayer. So they're not calling her Slave Leia anymore. Yeah. They're calling her Hut Slayer. So they got Hut Slayer. That's Hut Slayer. Hut Slayer. Hut Slayer. So that's how I got away with. That's how I got around the slave issue. Okay, I can I can understand the reasoning for wanting to change that name. I, I guess it's better than uh, Slut Hater. Uh, you know. I, I just I, always thought it was how very S and M of them to to have that that you know that her she's on a collar and he's pulling her chains and stuff. I never got the idea that she was a slave so much as that you know someone was into bondage. You know, but yeah, he was gonna. We don't even know if Leia can dance because I always got that when I was a kid. I'm like, oh, he's gonna make her a dancing girl. You know, one of his dancing girls. But we don't even know if Leia can dance. She's like, she's like, a, you know, a, a, a charm. He's like, a, that's his little charm bracelet. Charm. He's got a little chain. That's his little bracelet. She's a charm on his. You know. Yeah. But I mean, come on, she kicks his ass. Okay, this is another reason when they say that there was no strong women and you know, strong women are only invented recently and Star Wars never had them. Leia single handedly chokes the shit out of job because he put her in an outfit she didn't like, you know well, and she was a slave. But Yeah, but I mean she killed Job of the Hut. You know how many people have tried to kill Job of the Hut? Couldn't do it. And he's like, ah, it's just a pretty little girl. I'm going to put her on a chain. And, mm -hmm. and she and, kicks uh, his ass. She kicks, kicks so, his ass. I'm just pointing In that 1983. Out yes, but, you know, the strong woman. And then she dressed up as, as the Bauschleia and, and rescued Han, you know, which was like that first. And the same, in the same damn movie. But no, women, you know, weren't important to Star Wars. Yeah, women were not, uh, they were not strong they characters. They were just eye candy. Uh, you know, Jyn Erso, who, you know, did all the work. All the work and Luke mm -hmm. did nothing. And neither did uh, her dad. So here's who else they have. You can you have until Friday, May 29th to vote. Qui-Gon Jinn, 
Mm -hmm. I agree. Django Fett. Okay. I agree. Uh, Commander Cody. Yeah. I agree. Um, it's for all these people who you know watch the channel. I agree with all of these. Actually. Yeah, you guys, you guys are like, oh, you guys hate the prequels. Actually, I don't. I don't hate the prequels. I think they could have been better, but I don't hate them. Uh, Jyn Erso, Greedo, I think is classic. Uh, we have Bausch Leia, the 501st Clone Trooper. Yeah. They know what the collectors like because these yeah. are like even if you don't like the prequel trilogy, there's so many people that love the Stormtroopers and the Clone Troopers mm -hmm. from the prequels and from Clone Wars. So I agree with that. Um, Hut Slayer, mm -hmm. Hut Slayer Leia, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, young Obi Wan, and Ahsoka Tano. Who do you think is going to win? I guess it's going to be between these two. That's what. That's exactly what I was thinking too. It's going to be a female character who's probably going to win. Yeah. But you know, oh. we just hate women. Actually, of all these choices, how many are women? One, two, go up. Three, four. So four of the six are female. And technically, uh, even though Greedo was a male character, it was played by the secretary. Uh, she, that's true. Greedo is wearing heels um, <laughs> Greedo's... behind the, the scenes footage. So yeah, Greedo is wearing Technically, that makes him half female. Yeah. So we got, uh, what, five five men, four Well, six men, men and, five, and four women. But we're going to say Greedo. Well, I'm going to count Greedo as a girl because it was played yeah. by a woman. Yeah. So anyway, um, I, th I think it's going to be Leia, though, because there hasn't been. I think so, too. A slave Leia. Well, I'm sorry. Hut Slayer. Hut Slayer. I don't like Hut Slayer, though. Hut Slayer. I mean, everybody's going to call her Slave Leia. And they're going to be mad they changed the name Slave Leia. But Hut Slayer actually thinks it sounds more badass. In the EU, I thought they were calling her the Hut Slayer. Maybe I'm wrong because it's been. I thought they I were think Hut Slayer is a better name to go with because it sounds more badass and it, and it further um, defiles their, uh, you know, bullshit narrative. Yes, it does. Um, but at least they're acknowledging that Carrie Fisher spent a good portion of that movie in a metal bikini. She was, um, she said it was hard because there was they, they did like behind the scenes things with her. And she said that she could she turn the bikini wouldn't always turn with her. And they'd uh, have to stop because her boobs kept falling out of it. Yeah. So. Uh, but there's no there, there are no bras uh, in, in space, yeah. according to according to George Lucas. I guess that was the story she had. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the fact that there are no sequel trilogy characters might shock some people, mainly those in the media who routinely attack Star Wars fans for their disdain of the sequel trilogy. But Star Wars fans have made it clear they're uninterested in these characters and have no intention of purchasing them. Yep. We know this because the sequel toys sit on the damn shelf right. for years, literally years, and they're at rock bottom prices. I think they're, and, and you'd think that they would learn their lesson, but they never do. Yeah, I think they are learning because look at how little merchandise there was for Rise of Skywalker. Wait, 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 wait. They have a frozen Han and Carbonite desk? Hell yes. It's Why? only $10,000. Where do I want that? It's only 10... I want the pinball machine too. I used to play that pinball machine uh, back in high school. They I had want the arcade. desk. Oh my yeah. gosh, that'd be hilarious. You could use his mouth for pencil holder. Oh God, that would be <laughs> cup holder. <laughs> you can't even put a cup in that. You could put a couple straws or something. Uh, Post-its post-it notes oh man that's degrading that's <laughs> degrading to poor han um, i think it's fun i love it but look they've been talking about for years how the toy sales aren't good and we saw hasbro trim back on their toy line and we saw them refocus on classic era stuff well, i had to hold myself back the other day because i was over at um at walmart not our walmart because our Walmart ever gets good stuff in and they had classics the toys they had Jawas and they had this they had the, they had the sail barge like or like oh, a yeah. small one they yeah. had the one that they did they did and it was like oh I would buy those the problem was though I think they're too expensive yeah like um the figures what 13 or 14 dollars now and these yeah, weren't even the black they're, figures yeah, they're like they're 20 awesome. yeah it's like 12 bucks I think for a basic Star Wars mm -hmm. a little Jawa was like 13 dollars I'm like well geez yeah I know that that drives me nuts because I'm like man I know this is current year and everything but when i was a kid star wars figures started out at dollar 99 and i remember when uh empire rolled around they were two dollars 99 cents well just for shits and giggles go see what the, the conversion is so you want to see what the like okay so yeah, just out of curiosity what if what's... in 1980 it costs to say 2.99 that's okay. at the more expensive stores it would well, you, have to, you have to calculate see it's still less so it's they're still charging less. now, and that's on the high end ones. Yeah, so it'd be it'd be ten bucks for a figure, Star Wars figure. But the thing is, is I could afford Star Wars. I you know I could now I didn't have as many Star Wars figures as I did GI Joe figures because Star Wars when I was a kid was kind of on its way out. Uh -huh. when I was little, and I, I had more GI Joe and He Man and Transformers and stuff like that. But like, Shira. and Shira. But I remember that the figures were pretty cheap, and I had. One of the carbacks because we sold my star. I kept the carbacks because I was like OCD. You did, and I, I used remember. To look at the carbacks, 
buy one of them, I think it was a hammerhead. He was like $1.99 in the drugstore. And I remember KB Toys, years after Star Wars was over and done with, we're talking like 88, 89, they had Star Wars figures for like a buck a piece, including a bunch of removable helmet, uh, Han and Luke's, or no, it was Luke. They didn't have Han back then. Luke and they had um I'm trying to think of some of the rare ones that they but they did with the coins. Oh they were man. a buck. They sat there for years. I Nobody liked, wanted them. I would have liked you more if you had those. I know. I'm kidding, I wouldn't have liked but, you more, but I would have been very happy to see them and touch them. But everybody was everybody was out of Star Wars by then. They had two packs where they just took like two random figures. Like I got I think I got Leia and Akbar for like a dollar and they came Oh, with I think two I packs. remember that they just kinda of slipped them together because they were just trying to get rid of them. Yeah, no weapons, they didn't have any weapons. They just like Yeah, I think I remember that actually. Yeah, so I think it was Kenner just trying to like liquidate all Star Wars. But this was like the late eighties they were yeah. trying to unload. Well, I know that the drugstores around here, you do that would be the same with other toys like Boltron or different things. You'd be able yeah. to find it after the fact, like two years later there because they wanted too much for them yeah so you can still get stuff i mean even they had like the green carded figures and all that you could still get them you know they're a ways afterwards yeah because kb's was always expensive they were more expensive than because i remember the g because i was really into gi joe so i remember the gi joe guys every place else they were like 2.99 or 3.99 but kb's they were like 4.99 but kb's they had the figures you wanted because uh they were so expensive people didn't buy them as quick mm -hmm. So I, I had all my, my spots like, oh, I know I can get these figures at KB's. I have to pay more, but I can get them there. Anyway, that is neither here nor there. I just there. wanted to go to Hills because that's what the toys were. Hills was awesome, but this stuff would sell out quick. Hills had a whole, I remember they had a whole aisle of Star Wars. There's nothing but Star Wars. I just loved Hills. And that's where I used to take my money. I'd get money for garage sales or, you know, doing stuff. And that's where I'd go to spend it, Hills. Well, one toy we did not have back in the day was a uh, Hut Slayer, Hut Slayer Leia. No. And she didn't come out until the Power of the Force. And she was very popular. And I remember everybody, all the speculators bought every mm -hmm. Slave Leia you could find, every Grand Moff Tarkin, mm -hmm. uh, every removable helmet Darth Vader. All I'm pretty the, sure I bought all those. Mon Mothma. And any of the ones, well, that's it. You were, you were buying I, the toys I, too. I did. I, I was one of those people. Any of these figures that they thought would be worth a lot of money because they could they could flip them later. But mm -hmm. now, like, you can buy, I think, a Slave Leia for next to nothing on eBay. Yeah, a lot of those you can buy for next to nothing. I mean, you might be able to get some of the other figures cheaper than what they're going to charge at Walmart for new ones. Yeah. And yeah. still get them new. So this is pretty interesting, though, because this is showing, I mean, again, the only bright spot they've had with toy sales is, is Baby Yoda, uh, which isn't sequel trilogy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um... Very interesting that this is this is the way they're going with it. But I, again, they need to listen to the fans because the fans pay the bills at the end of the day. They'll tell you what they want and what they don't want. And, you know, the media and Disney and Lucasfilm, they spent all this time trying to basically scrape the old fandom off the bottom of their shoes and create mm -hmm. a new fandom. But all they did was scrape the fandom off the bottom of their shoes and took the shoes with them and they took the shoes with them and they went to other franchises and they took the money with them, too. Mm hmm. So now they don't have shoes and everybody spend their money elsewhere. Bunch of, yeah. So this is how Star Wars got ground into the dirt because we don't even see Star Wars figures that much at Walmart. They're very, mm -hmm. very few. They are, they don't, ours doesn't have hardly any and if they do, they're all ones I don't want. And even, um, you know, when, when the Clone Wars was out and Rebels was out, you know, before the new movies came out, um, there was still a lot of Star Wars. Like I remember, cause Squid King grew up watching Clone Wars mm -hmm. and there was always tons of Star Wars toys. Well, when they had the figures come out for like what the Galaxy's Adventure type ones, but they were they were very um, inspired by like the, the original design. Yeah, they came in the little tubes. The little tubes, they always sold. They always sold really well. And they were just, and they, I almost buy, bought some and I, I didn't, but they, they they were the basic figures, they were reasonable priced and they, they were like the classic characters. Yeah. Always gone. Yeah, so, I mean, look, the classic stuff sells. I mean, that's what they're gonna realize. The classic stuff sells, Mandalorian stuff sells, uh, create good Star Wars, give fans the characters they want, stop trying to force them to like characters like Holdo. Stop trying and, to force the force. Yeah, stop stop shoving Holdo and Rose Tico Have and all these other hawks. Have you not learned if you try to force it, there's, there's all, something always gets broken or hurts. Somebody gets burnt. And you can't walk for a week. You just don't force it. That's right. So the fans have the high ground now. Uh, so I think I think Hut Slayer Leia. Is I'm, I'm thinking that's one's going to win too. Yeah. We'll see. We'll have to see. I'm kind of curious how this turns out. Yeah. So we'll we'll keep an eye. Maybe we'll do an update. Are you going to go vote? Uh, I may go vote. What are you voting for? I'm voting for Hut Slayer Leia. There you go. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. 
And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.